Hi, welcome to Road by Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today we're gonna to talk about sweat rate. As endurance athletes, we sweat a lot. And we know we sweat. It can be disgusting, you can think, oh, it's gross, but ultimately sweat is your body cooling itself down. And I think we all understand this. Most people understand that if you sweat too much and you're not replenishing your fluids, you're gonna get dehydrated. But if you don't know your sweat rate, you can also overhydrate by thinking, I have to keep drinking and drinking and drinking, neither of which is optimal to get the best out of your sport. You need to hydrate at the right level with the right stuff at the right time. To avoid dehydration or overhydration, you need to be able to calculate your sweat rate so you know how much to drink on your ride. And to do that, you do a one hour test. On the day you want to do your test to understand your sweat rate, first, you need to just go about your morning like you normally do, eat your normal breakfast, do your normal things, and then right before you go out and you do your exercise, take off all your clothes, empty your bowel and bladder as much as you can, step on a scale, the digital scales are better because you really want that point whatever, and then weigh yourself. After you weigh yourself, get yourself all dressed up and try not to drink any more fluid for the next hour. Go out and exercise at a moderate pace, whichever pace you're gonna most likely be doing. So if you're training for a century ride or a marathon, run or ride at the pace you would normally be doing on that ride. Don't go crazy, don't make it hard, don't make it too easy, just follow that moderate pace that you plan on using to achieve your goals of that century ride. Once you get home, take off your clothes and dry yourself off. Step on the exact same scale you used before because it's calibrated the same and that difference in weight is your sweat rate. So you take your pre-ride weight, you subtract your post-ride weight and you multiply that by 16. What this means is if your pre-ride weight is 180 pounds and then at the end of it you weigh 178.5 pounds, that means you've lost 1.5 pounds. Multiply that by 16 equals 24 ounces. Your sweat rate is 24 ounces per hour. This means every ride you go on, you need to drink 24 ounces of fluid every hour to stay hydrated. So I think that just about covers it. Sweat rate. The thing you're not doing that you should be doing and it's going to improve your ride it is going to make your life so much better when you do this. So please start it in 2017. The year is almost here. The season's almost here. It's going to happen this year. This is your year and sweat rate is going to help get you there. Until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.